Good morning, Quadcopter 101. What I got for you today is a review of the Warlark 80 uh, micro FPV quadcopter. Again, this is, if you look at this, you'll say, okay, this is another tiny whoop competitor. Yeah, it's that's what it's intended to be. Uh, they're coming out right and left these days, folks, and here's another one. Uh, but what's special about this one is it includes a SciSky F3 flight control board. Now, that particular board includes uh, integration of an FPV camera directly to it, okay? It's already, it comes with that FP, FPV camera integrated to it, but I believe it's also, you can put your own camera in there if you don't like this particular camera, because it's just plugged in there. There's a uh, plug. Let's actually pull this off so you can see the insides of this, the innards. The pop comes off very nicely, but other things special about this particular quadcopter, it has this um, on-screen display incorporated into its uh, FPV uh, transmitter. So you can actually see, uh, actually mine is set up to show voltage and flight time, I believe, total flight time. Uh, but um, you can then go in there and program that, I believe, if you wish. Um, to other settings on that. I don't believe it has gyro ports, but we'll see <laughs> in future. I'm sure other people have already reviewed that particular feature is the on-screen display version of this. Uh, the frequencies that the uh, FPV transmitter are transmit on are de uh, decided by these little, uh, there's little light bars down here, little LEDs. Um, there's a special code that goes with each of those lights. It gets a little confusing setting up the uh, FPV frequencies for this and how they they operate, but you, you know if you you have to get this little chart uh, to to figure that out. And I believe this port this button here is for actually binding the quadcopter. Although mine bind it right away. I'll I'll discuss the binding here uh, shortly when I go over how I set up my transmitter. And of course you can configure this flight control board using clean flight or beta flight through this USB port. But a problem is this little structural bar here is kind of in the way for your uh, micro or mini USB port. Uh, so if you want to plug in there, you're going to need a either a longer uh, a micro USB. I can't remember if it's micro or mini, <laughs> different versions of this, but that's the port there. But um, what I did was I don't have one of those longer ones, so I, I pushed it in and I, and I actually pushed this bar inward and I was able to get contact, but it wasn't very good contact. Uh, let's see, other things, this is your FPV antenna, and this red wire here is your receiver antenna. Running down here, it's just a little red wire antenna. So I have them bent uh, at 90 degrees in both directions, 90 degrees downward and 90 degrees upward, to provide, uh, hopefully, the best reception. Now, I want to go over the transmitter and the way I had it set up for uh, clean, or actually, yeah, I use clean flight to uh, configure this. Hold on a fo second, folks. Uh, what's special, also special, I forgot to mention about the Warlark, is it comes with th th four different versions, depending on which transmitter you happen to own. Uh, there's FlySky, FreeSky, DSM-2, and Futaba. Um, I particularly chose <laughs> the DSM-2 version so I could fly it with my Devo 10 here, uh, which has been flashed to deviation software. Uh, the only changes I made to it, uh, it was actually pretty darn easy to bind. I just plugged in the battery and then waited about a half minute and then there's a little red light that starts to blink rapidly which indicates that it's waiting for bind. And then I went into my menus and select, clicked on bind. And since then, you know, every time I just turn this on and it automatically binds itself so there's no issues there. Um, the way it was configured in it, well, actually, the quadcopter came, mine came with Beta Flight 3.0.1. I understand other people have been getting theirs with uh, Clean Flight installed, but mine did come with Beta Flight, and I've configured that in Clean Flight, which you can do, uh, to, you know, the only thing I changed in mine was uh, this was set up, uh, the switches were not set up at all. Everything was set to angle mode, depending no matter which switch position you would have in any of your switches. I went in there, configured it, and changed it so that uh, this switch here is angle mode up, horizon mode, and uh, acro all the way down. And also, the way it was set up was you'd arm the motors by moving the throttle down and to the right and disarm by moving the throttle down and to the left. I actually would prefer to use a switch to arm my motors, so I have this particular switch here set up to arm. That's about it, folks. It's pretty much basic. Let's go into a flight and we'll demonstrate it here out in the field, outdoors. So I hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, we are set up and ready to go. I'm going to arm the motors. Right now we are armed and 
away we go. Hope you enjoy this flight. First off, I noticed it's strange colors here on this particular camera that comes with this. Let's see here. I want to bring it down close to us and get a close by flight. Slow by, slow flyby. Okay, let's go around the trees. <laughs> hey, you had a tree. Coming by. But yeah, weird colors are showing up here. Um, I'm not sure why. I don't want to hit my dog. But let's go by my dog. So I already hit a branch already, so we know that these uh, protecting uh, protective rings actually work very well. Okay, I'm getting a little more speed here. It's saying low voltage. I got to land it here shortly. I don't want to go back below three volts. But it's wait time it seems to be relatively short here. I don't know if that's true or not. Three it says three point two volts. But I am going to land it here shortly because I don't like that low voltage. Let's see if I can make it onto the helipad. Did I make it? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first flight of the Warlark. Um, I don't know folks. That flight is not very long. I had a little bit of problem there binding it. You know, I was, I had to restart the uh, transmitter. I'll take that right now, hon. And restart the quadcopter to get it to bind. But after I got it to bind, it was okay. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of a short flight time. I don't know if uh, the actual voltage uh, that's coming out of that is correct or not, but I, I dropped down to three, three volts, you know, close to three volts, uh, 3.2 volts uh, within a, a minute and a half of flying, so. That was the first flight, though. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out. Okay, as you can see, it's another day. <laughs> I want to do acro flying. We didn't get a chance to try acro flying the other day uh, with this quadcopter, with the Warlock. So let's just go right into it. Okay, I got everything set up. Selecting uh, acro. And it doesn't show up on my OSD, but we are an acro. And arming the quadcopter. And oh, let me step back a bit. And away we go. I really see that color shifting there. Okay, now we can do here in Acro. Um, believe it or not, flying this thing with Acro is, is e more easier than uh, flying it with stabilized mode, say with uh, Angle. It just is. I don't know. It's, it's somewhat smoother. Okay, let me see if I can thread these trees here. Boy, I should be sitting down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I really should be sitting down, folks. Uh, I see why people sit down when they fly like this. You can get a little bit disorienting. Now I'm noticing I'm getting a low voltage signal already. Oops. Oops, I hit that tree branch. Yeah, Go straight. Okay, I'm sitting in the chair this time. I'm getting a low voltage warning and I see it still has 3.8 volts on it. I don't know how that is, but let's go back up again. I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna ignore that for now. Oh yeah, this is much better sitting down. <laughs> really get disoriented when you're standing up and trying to fly acro or FPV. That is why all these people sitting down, huh? <laughs> Let's try this again. Going around these trees. Coming back toward us. Oh, that's much better. Okay, from now on, folks, you're going to see me in a chair. Uh, was I going to try to do that? I'm going to try to do that. Let's, let's do it. Let's line up for it. 3.3 volts, 3.2 volts. That can't be right. I just got there. Lining up, lining up, and there we go. <laughs> you can do it. There's another one I can do it. A little, a 
branch, there's branches. So all in all, yeah, this is a fun little flyer. Fun little. My wife's trying to keep an eye on it. But I'm just getting low volts and 3.0 <laughs> volts. I'm gonna believe that one. Bring it in, folks. Oops. Did I make it? Ah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Uh -huh. So all in all, the Warlock, the Warlock, yeah, yeah, it's a fun little flyer, um, especially in Acro there. <laughs> it was much, it doesn't fight as much as in angle mode. Uh, what did we learn today? We learned today when you're flying in Acro or FPV, make sure you're sitting down. <laughs> but all in all, uh, the little Warlock, uh, yeah. Uh, the one thing I'm not sure about is it keeps getting that low voltage signal. Let me unplug that battery because just in case it is accurate I don't want to damage that battery but it gets low voltage very on the OSD very quickly and I'm not sure that that's entirely accurate so all in all uh, it's an okay flyer it's quadcopter 101 I hope you enjoyed this flight quadcopter 101 signing out <laughs>